Ministry of Labor and the Council of Governors are holding meetings this morning in concerted efforts to ensure that the strike by clinical officers set to start today does not take off. Both the COG, that is the Council of Governors, and the Ministry will meet union officials for the clinical workers ahead of the start of the planned strike. Now, the officers had threatened to boycott work if the Salaries Remuneration Commission fails to release the job evaluation results for the practitioners. They are also demanding that county governments including Meru, Kiambu, Nyandaru and Siaya, pay July and August salaries for their members. Ile ambayo wamekuwa kiona hapo inji kendelea in the out service, the, the out service in all the public facility, imeisha kufika isiku hiyo. Wasipo timiza, kwa sababu tulikubaliana, there is no way you can increase health risk allowance for doctors with 400%. And you don't increase for nurses, clinical officers, and other health workers. Time has come for us health workers to speak with one voice. And I can tell you, we are speaking with one voice. They are either increasing health risk allowance for all health workers, they are either creating health workers as skilled officers, and any health worker who has gone to college, from certificate and above, the entry band, as by the Patterson scale, I have read now and understood what it is. It is now supposed to be band C. And just to tell us more on this developing story, we are now joined live by our reporter Cecilia Akesha from our city centre studio. Cecilia, good morning. And apart from the clinical officers in Kiambu, Meru, Nyandarwa, Siaya, who are demanding, of course, for the pay of July and August, what are the demands are these clinical officers making this time around? Thank you, Yusuf. Today being the 15th day of September, already I'm informed that the 6,000 clinicians across the country have so far downed their tools. Remember, they had issued a strike notice since September 5th, and on Wednesday this week, they came out to issue another notice saying that today they will be downing their tools if the SRC or the county government doesn't intervene and prevail upon their demands, which include, and they're saying, the bone of contention is the job evaluation circular that they received last year in November. What they're saying is that the circular now is set to downgrade uh, the job groups. For example, a diploma holder who is supposed to be uh, starting from job group H, they're saying is set to be downgraded to C between C1 and B3. And they're saying this one means that they'll be counted like non-professionals, something that they're saying they're really opposed to it because it was set to kick off or to start implementation on July this year. But then again, because uh, they have always issued uh, that threat of being called upon uh, to discuss the same or rather the, the circular to be made public. So up to now, that is what they are asking for. Uh, so on Wednesday, they said they're not going to back off. They're going to join the nurses. In fact, they said today they are going to the uh, SRC offices because SRC has always maintained that it cannot to, uh, it, it cannot engage any workers one on one, but it has to pass through the employers. So then they say they will go there to go and uh, put across their grievances. But what I understand is that by yesterday, the Council of Governors, that is through Chairman Josphat Nanok, sent a statement to the nurses. In fact, they were complain uh, the COG was complaining that these clinicians, not nurses, these clinicians. Uh, they have not satisfied all avenues before they start issuing this strike notice. And so he was telling them uh, they can meet and perhaps look at the areas that they want uh, uh, their concerns addressed and perhaps to see whether they might not go on strike. Because remember today is 103 day of nurses strike already, the health sector is paralyzed. So you can imagine, Yusuf, if these few clinicians again go on strike, your guess is as good as mine. So as we speak, they are set to have that meeting with COG that is around Westlands. And then later on to have another meeting, I'm told at around 11 a.m. with the council, with the Ministry of Labor, perhaps to see whether they will not be going on streets. But the Secretary General has told me if by today they don't reach a consensus, then on Monday, them together with the nurses who joined them on Wednesday to make that threat for a strike, they will go to the streets and until their demands are met, then the health sector, Yusuf, 
will be the way it has remained paralyzed for the 100 and day uh, and uh, for the 103 days yusuf and Cecilia, one final question. We've seen confusion among nurses with both the chairman of the nurses union and the secretary general seem to, you know, having different kind of communication. Remember some time back when the chairman called off the strike and then only for the secretary general to come on and say that the strike is on. Do we expect the same officials to oversee the strike by the clinical officers? Not really. Uh, what we are seeing now, the clinicians led by their Secretary General, George Gibore, uh, them, they have joined hands with the nurses who are joined, who are led by Secretary General Seth Panyako. Remember, the nurses have always maintained that John B. is nobody to them. They've said he's one person who seemingly is being used uh, perhaps by some forces to, tr to try and threaten the whole issue of trying to demand for what they've said is their right, the signing of the CBA, and now this time round, the job evaluation, which they're saying is, uh, is meant to degrade them or to downgrade them. So with John B, for the nurses and clinicians, they have nothing to do with him. This time round, the nurses and the clinicians, uh, they've said them, they are going head on, and it's like unity to try and fight for their right. They are saying that it looks like the health sector mm -hmm. is being looked down upon, is not being uh, respected. They are saying, why should they be counted like non-professionals? And uh, yet the, jo the same job they do, uh, they are saying, is like for the doctors. In fact, one of the things they're even asking for uh, is risk allowance, because mm -hmm. remember the doctors who last year had gone for a 100 days strike had asked for a 400% increase um, in risk allowance, and it was done so. So they're saying even them, one of the things they're fighting for, apart from the circular, uh, that they're really uh, hard on it, uh, they're saying they want their allowances increased. So with John B. Yusuf, them, they have nothing to do with him. Mm -hmm. It's fighting for their rights. They don't want any forces uh, that will uh, bring down what they're fighting for. Clearly, yes. it is the hope of every Kenyan that this issue will be resolved once and for all. Many thanks, uh, Cecilia, for that update. Of course, the clinical officers are threatening to go on strike by Monday next week if the Council of Governors, together with the Minister of Labor, don't come together and resolve their issues now. Over to the EU, uh, IBC 